the visiting team, the Dallas Mavericks. At small forward, Derek Jones Jr. At the other forward position, P.J. Washington. At center, Daniel Gafford. At shooting guard, Kyrie Irving. At the other guard position, Luka Doncic. The head coach of the visiting team is Jason Kidd. see the Dallas Mavericks going up against the Houston Rockets here at Toyota Center along with Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson this is Brian Anderson and we've got our reporter Ali LaForce looking at the starting five for the Dallas Mavericks Luca and Kyrie are the talented backcourt Daniel Gafford is out there with PJ Washington and it's Jones in at the three and for the Rockets Van Vliet and Green men the backcourt Thompson out there with Dylan Brooks and it's Smith in at center Pretty interesting backcourt matchup here, Grant, with a lot of star power at the guard positions on both sides. And you know, traditionally, B.A., when big guys match up, it's all about the power. But this contest is about finesse. Who can outplay and outsmart the competition? So the Rockets win the tip. Brooks with it. Now Doncic defending. Brooks against Washington. Misses from short range. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. One thing you can count on with this Mavericks team, they shoot threes Kyrie. all Kyrie. night long if you let them. I mean, near the top of the league for attempts beyond the arc. They do it every chance they can get. So it's the Rockets now. After the Mavericks picking up a basket just a moment ago. And the big X factor Van Vliet brings to the team is leadership. He's very talented at setting a good tone out on the floor and organizing his guys. Well, Grant, the Rockets finished at the bottom of the Western Conference for three straight seasons and got some high draft picks as a result. And B.A., no one likes losing, but Houston has to be happy with the talented young prospects they've been able to select. It'll be interesting to watch their growth as individuals and as a team. And the first one at the line is good. Thinking back to one of the most fun runs in the NBA, Grant, those early 2000 Mavs teams. Oh, I played against those teams, and they were incredible offensively. Of course, you had Steve Rash running the point, Dirk and Finley on the wings, and the pace they played with, they were well ahead of their time. Both free throws, good from Van Vliet. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Pass to Jones. 
Now here's Gafford. There's a minute 12 left in the first quarter. Clock at six. Doncic passes to Washington. From deep three-point land. Smith with the rebound. Maybe he thinks he has that type of range, but I don't think his coaches will agree. Yeah, and you're not going to just have the green light for long if you're chucking up bombs like that. That one's good for two. You look at Green showing some hustle on the offensive boards. Doncic against Van Vliet. Doncic passes to Gafford. Washington outside. From behind the arc. Rockets with a rebound. Thompson scanning the floor. To the middle. Here's Smith. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. And looks like Smith is already getting stronger. He's looking to add some muscle, and that finish through contact is a great sign. Here's Irving. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Pass to Smith. Here's Van Vliet. On the wing, Green. The three from Thompson. Oh, and the release was before the buzzer. But it concludes the first quarter of play. The Rockets on top, up four. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Two. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. All right, guys, for the Rockets, what jumps out at you stat-wise? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. It's been a group effort, and that's what it takes to play the kind of defense that they've played. Great showing from them. Green is the two with Tate at the three. Whitmore is out there with Jock Landale. And it's Holiday in at the point. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. Now here's Doncic. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. That one on Tate. And you can't let Doncic get this type of positioning. Because then you're pretty much forced to foul him. At the line for the Mavericks. Luka Doncic. First one falls for him. Grant, you had a terrific mid-range game. It feels like more players are going back to that now. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, B.A. The analytics say dunks and three-pointers, but that makes your offense almost just two-dimensional. In many cases, too predictable. You're seeing more and more players, particularly the elite ones, finding comfort in the mid-range. Doncic hits them both. Grant, your first year in the league, 1995, the Houston Rockets were NBA champs. Oh, B.A., I mean, Hakeem Madrim made facing that team a nightmare. He was everywhere defensively long and quick on his feet. That 95 Houston team was incredible. Now here's Tate. Nice start for him, sinking his first shot. 125 left in the second quarter. Exum passes to Doncic. Here's Exum. He's covered by Tate. Here's Exum. Out to Kleba. Here's Hardaway. Rebounded by Green. Houston in the lead. And that one is hammered home! As he gets more comfortable in unlocking his potential, we'll see Green get more comfortable in moving the ball. Doncic outside. Pass to Exum. Going inside. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. 
And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Good decision making. Scopes the situation, puts the pass right on the mark. And here's Kleba. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. Here's Doncic. The Rockets pull it in. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. Outside Tate with the second effort. No good there. That's what you need your bigs to do. Step up and control the defensive glass. And so it's Houston with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. Defense is setting the tone. We'll be right back with you shortly. The Mavericks. Six. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Houston found themselves in a close game in the first. They had a four-point advantage at the end of the period. Looking at Houston, Kenny, give us your take. They came out as a more physical team. You could tell they put an emphasis on winning the battle of the war. All of these bodies crashing the glass and giving them a physical and a middle edge. And uh, Shaq, what did you see from Dallas? Terrible execution via offensive end. Rushing thing, taking bad shots. Here's a thought. How the ball inside. Our percentage looks. Put yourself to the line. Get back on track. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. And so it's Irving who brings up the ball for Dallas. Six-point game. And on the floor for Jason Kidd as we get into the second half. Luka and Kyrie are the talented backcourt. D.J. Washington out there with Derrick Jones. And it's Gafford in at the five. Kyrie Good Irving. on the bucket. The quick feed of Kyrie Irving carving his way through the defense. Man, this guy, he can get anywhere at any time. You know, when you think about Kyrie Irving's game, his ball handling is what still comes to mind first. Yeah, you know, B.A., that and his killer instinct. Kyrie is one of the most creative players we've ever seen. A guy you can count on to come through in big moments. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey, B.A., well, Kyrie Irving is a deadly closer when the game is on the line. Where'd it come from? He said, quote, studying the greats and striving to be greater than them. There's a commonality in the way they control emotions at the end of a game. I've been able to learn over time. Ryan? Well, he's hit some big shots. Thanks, Allie. Good stuff there. Here's Irving. Let's it go from the baseline and nails him. Irving's got four points in the quarter. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. And here is Green. And it's Irving with a rebound. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. Here's Washington. Outside for Irving. Tries again. No good at the rim. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. Green, the pass to Thompson. Back to Green. Three-pointer, Van Vliet. No good on the buzzer beater. And we've reached the end of the third. The Rockets on top, up by six. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. That wasn't a better pass in the game, almost like he had a sixth sense.
Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Dylan Brooks is out there with Jeff Green. Then it's Thompson. Then it's Jock Landale. And it's Van Vliet in at the point. So that's who's on the floor for the Rockets. And it's Brooks missing. The Mavericks trailing. Hardaway on the wing. Hardaway's got his first points in this one. Oh, that's a big bucket. Putting the offense on his shoulders right there. Green, the pass to Van Vliet. Three-pointer off the mark. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. This shot by Hardy, no good. And the Rockets shooting around 44%. Not bad. 60 ticks off the clock here in the fourth. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. The Rockets with another miss. And so it's Dallas with it. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong. No baskets allowed. Now here's Hardaway. Pass to Green. Just five to shoot. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Look, guys get away with this all the time. But on this occasion, he got caught. And the Rockets call time here. They're leading by four. 36 seconds left in the fourth. focus was just second to none in this game. He really found his rhythm early and didn't give the defense a chance at all. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened to Ime Yudoka's huddle. He asked his team to take in the moment, saying, this is what it's all about, guys. This is why we work so hard and why we love this game. Embrace it. Back to you guys. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Ali. At the line for Houston, Fred Van Fleet. on the first and that puts him up five so he gets them both and it's a six-point ball game stellar work at the charity strike trying to build out this lead and dallas calls time here they're trailing by six we've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one all right guys what do you think they're going to have to work fast coming out of the timeout. Yeah, no time to waste. They basically have to execute things perfectly from here on out.
Doncic finds Irving. Oh, he nails it! What a beautiful shot! Brings him within three! Someone who loves the biggest moments. Kyrie hit one of the biggest shots in NBA history. Believe me, I was there. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. To the wing, right side. Shot clock at six. Van Vliet misses. The time called here. The Mavericks decide to talk it over. They're down by three. Eight seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Your thoughts, guys? If they leave the arc open, take it. But it may be safer to get a quick two and then foul. Yeah, time is the enemy at this point. So I think I'd go for the tie and avoid playing the foul game. Right here. We'll see what they draw up. Three pointer is a must. Clutch play by Doncic. He's been doing this since he was a kid. Timeout called the Rockets. The score is tied at 18. Five ticks left in the fourth quarter. Three from Van Vliet. Oh, it's off the mark. Here we go to overtime. Time expires. We're going to overtime. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Glad to have you with us as we get going in overtime. Neither team giving an inch in this game. And the Mavericks with possession here. And Fleet and Green man the backcourt. Whitmore is out there with Dylan Brooks. And it's Smith in at center. Locking down the middle. Outside, Green. to Washington up and over Brooks and it's Washington missing they can't afford to waste this shot moments like this are what it's all about Van Vliet misses five second differential between the shot clock and game clock Irving against Van Vliet Irving no good a perfect example of how to protect the rim this is why he's out there in situations like this. He stands tall to prevent it. Time called here. The Rockets decide to talk it over. making some changes here. Substitution. Brooks has got the ball here for Houston. Now Van Vliet. The three is up. Off target from downtown. And Dallas calls time here.
Here's Doncic. It's good! Nice sequence off the inbound. The ball movement and player movement creating the good look. Houston calls timeout. Guys, what do you think? This has to be a lob close enough to the basket to tip it in. No time for a catch and shoot. the Mavericks who come out on top here. They escape with the W even though they needed a few extra minutes to pull it off. And both teams gave their all. But when it came down to overtime, it was about who had more determination. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Luca, you played well tonight and your team got the win. Those two usually go together, but what else made the difference? Yeah, I think we had a uh, we had a great game. You know, we had a I think it was a great game today. You know, we step up uh, together, play good defense, and it was a great win. Team defense goes a long way. Thanks, Luca. All right, Allie, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.